Hello again, this is the Watering Man. Now, this is Spiritual Toolbox number 528. And we will be starting in uh, John chapter 4 verse 40. Okay. Um, I'm going to start out reading the verse from the King James Version. Okay. It says, So when the Samaritans were coming to come unto him, they, were, they besought him that he would uh, tarry with them. And he abode there two days. Okay. Remember we had the three days or three ages in our earthly experience in here. First day, like your Passover experience. Pentecost, second day. Third day, tabernacles in the harvest. These are ages. And God go through the nighttime, the ignorance. Then get heated up, chop out, skim out, well, over and over and over through the day. First day, and the second day, and the third day, and third day, just like Jesus, huh, in the tomb, in that belly of the tomb, he's dead three days, right, in the natural, and he resurrected. He's doing the same thing with us, but not just physical body, no, the spirit. We're going through this transition, this relationship builder, we're being reborn, Re, do it again. Born, okay. Um, <clears throat> in this birth, in this relationship building process that God's doing in our minds, huh? The kingdom of God come does not come with outward observation, <clears throat> right? For behold, be totally amazed. The kingdom of God is within you. Know you not that you are the temple of the living God? That's your temple. Hmm. God's rebuilding himself, bringing, taking the chopping out, burning out, skimming out all this darkness thinking. If you'll just agree with, agree with him, green like God, he'll bring you back higher and higher and higher. From a stranger to an acquaintance, to a friend, to a bride, come in, S-Y-N, one with him, and in him, resting and relying in him. In God. And remember, God is not male or female. He's both. God is one. And he's bringing you into oneness, union with his right-mindedness. His ways. All this stinking ways has to be burned off. Just like the soil, it's good for utilizing and producing the good crops. Bearing much fruit. That fruit of the Spirit. The love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance against such there is their law. It's one fruit with those nine ingredients, like flavors. They can't be separated. You can identify, oh, it's got this, 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 it's got all, all this, how? Because <gasps> in this one ball, like it's a ball of your thinking process, you say, oh my goodness, all that God's doing, it's so complex the carnal mind and stuff cannot with its imaginary figures that cherubim <clears throat> placed at the east side of the garden of eden it's your mind <clears throat> speaking of it's confusing and baffling like this confusing baffling wind so that you can't come up to the higher way you can't come back to god not one little step you can't cheat God and try to get out of his line of the spiral and staircase and go out and come up here at the top. Sidestep it. Well, I agree with you. Get water baptized or something, and then that's it. Well, I'll just sit here on my haunches. Not do a thing. I'll just mouth it. Be a, like, uh, just do it on a letter only. But not with any actions. Not with you're not actually a green lighting God in these storms. So no, no, I can't be God. That's an earthquake in your mind. Well, God, that's exactly what God's doing. He's earthquaking it. God's a consuming fire and a refining fire. God is love. It's just passion, desire, all these things bringing you back into that. Chav is a lightning bolt. God is light. He's a lightning bolt. Plasma thinking. 
who doesn't think, who doesn't know that inside a star, in the very center in the nucleus of that star, it's hot. A lot of pressures. A lot of pressures. Thalipsis, tribulation, calamities, pressures. Fiery trials changing you from one spiritual element, if you will, like hydrogen, pressing it into helium. The next one, and the next one. Uh, boom, boom. And there's a lot great relo uh, <coughs> release of power and energy. Okay? God's exploding in your mind. Just like a, a, a little play, a little funny thing, but it's pretty good uh, analogy. Snot rock out. Because <coughs> that other stuff's like snot or puke or filthy menstrual stinking rags. That heart of man, that mankind thinking, that six, six, six in your forehead. Humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking. And in your hand, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking. Those efforts. Ergon, your works, your efforts, hmm? in your hand, and it originates, where is it, in your mind. Go from that dark way of thinking, that ignorance of God's love, to the love of God. It's like those Ten Commandments. Those are promises. When God saying, whenever I get done with you, you won't want to kill, cheat, lie, cover your neighbor, all, all these things. Hmm. Mankind puts it in the letter of the law. They make over 600 rules and regulations. Law of Moses. The, the, the letter of the law kills, but the spirit of the law gives life. That spirit is love. That love of God as he's bringing that ball of your thinking. He's changing it. Just green like God. Be reasonable and sit my way and be emphatic and in hot pursuit of God. Okay? Now, I'm, I'm pouring out uh, desperately with everything I got. This new one that's been uh, taking years to come out. God gave it to me. Man, I didn't even know how to say it, speak it. I was physically... I'd just come out of a coma, unconscious for about 12 weeks. And my body was in hell. It was nowhere near. And the doctor said, well, you not walk normal again. Not be able to walk. Don't, you won't go back to college. You definitely won't be able to work. You won't be, you'll, be, you'll have to go to a nursing home and be taken care of the rest of your life. This after... All the other stuff said, man, you're going to die, you're going to die, you're going to die. And I was told by the the people at the accident <clears throat> that the, the cop, the, the, the woman cop, was just, didn't know what to do. She was kind of new on the job, I think. And uh, I was uh, it's such a mess, bleeding prof profusely out of uh, every, everywhere. And and the femoral artery was cut in my uh, my left thigh. I got I got a scar there, and it cut down somewhere around my foot, my right foot. I was and it was just squirting, and they put uh, in the ambulance and stuff. And after they cut me out of the thing, it was just squashed me like in a pop can. But I mean, everything was broken and uh, uh everywhere. Was messed up. My neck broke. My ankle about torn off. My kneecap. My thighs broken back underneath the bench seat. Going on, on, on. When I woke up, I couldn't even recognize anybody. I didn't even know. But I had this great overwhelming feeling. <gasps> I had to tell everyone about the greatest thing ever. This new wine. Hmm? The revelation of God. The revealing of the knowledge before known. That disclosure. God loves us beyond the mere description of words. My body is in shambles. I can't even take and make my quadricep twitch. Man, it's been mangle, mangle bow. Broke back in and ripped. I mean, hunks taken out of me all over. <clears throat> 
And you could definitely be going, whoa, 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 it's me. <laughs> Pain, grief, and suffering, right? God didn't let me do that. But grace of God took over. Huh? Now, when I was anxious, man, I was all the way up to, I got in. I got infections, staph infections, and all all kinds of surgeries and stuff. So many and stuff. I don't even know how many. I could name. I could sit here and name. I could fill this little half hour thing up easily. Hmm. I mean, this stack of papers and a big old binder. I'm full. They're in some on some micro thing, film thing. I think in the bottom of the. I can't. They can't get rid of them. They just. Eh, that's not important. Hmm. But it takes years and years and years for that, that wine, that new wine to age and come out to where it's higher quality. Whenever I was speaking like crazy and I didn't, couldn't even speak plainly. I was taking spirit, I was taking a speech therapy physical therapy and occupational therapy from a wheelchair that I couldn't even lift my foot off the peg. I couldn't do nothing. I mean, it was horrendous. Okay? Three times a day from a wheelchair and they was loading me and I was all kinds of numerous stuff to overcome what you could see outside was nothing compared to what it was doing in my mind that's where god's working all this do do don't know by all these people looking outside ah bullshit they don't know nothing hey, man we went to it with, with you no you didn't and i said man he's really hurt God's got great things for you, man. Nowhere. They don't. Mm -mm. They don't. They don't. God does. He told me. Be, be, he, right whenever I was saying his fever was about to kill me, it was about to bake my brain and all kinds of stuff. My brain was swollen up inside with blood on it. I didn't have to drill to release it. Thank goodness. I saw double the quadruple stuff. For about three years before it kind of left. And I still, if I'm pressed real hard or something, I can't hardly really focus my eyes right. I don't know how, well, you know. But that's just slowing me down. So I'll listen, get the details from God. God's in control. It's not to make me stupid. I don't know. Far from that. Be reasonable. Sit my way, my child. Yes, sir. Amen. I agree. It's to turn this yuck thinking to rocket fuel for God. Hmm. Now, <clears throat> said I'll do great things. I'll say I'll do them through you later in your life, towards the end of your life. Don't worry, you won't forget. Because I was anxious, man. I was a little, little telling everybody. Kidding, probably could hardly understand me. I didn't even know how to articulate it out, but it was just overwhelmingly great. The stuff was coming out. It's like I said, oh, I don't think I'll speak a word or two. And the oh, 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 I asked God just to, <laughs> just to speak through me. I'll trust you, Father. And he does. And I'm like, oh, I gotta go back and re-listen. And I do the study. And then it's like, oh my goodness. God's not a monster. This stuff that they're telling everybody, all this stuff, that's a bunch of bull crap. It's worthless and detestable. It's like the, it's your feeding right into your own carnal mind. Please don't take that. Please don't eat that stuff. You be man, vomit it. Spew that stuff out of your mouth with extreme disgust. It's not the fear of God that's the beginning of all understanding. No, it's a reverence, honor, deepest respect, honor, bowing down, worshiping. Oh my goodness, you are the greatest. Your lifestyle, your feet. I'm kissing them. I love you. Thank you. You are my exceeding great reward. Oh my goodness, Father, you're worshiping. 
the spirit and in truth. You're bringing these, these by green lighting God, these seeds of faith are coming back to the truthfulness of God, that God loves you beyond the mere description of words. And I'm bringing this out. This is freely given to me, but it's left me in a state where I did make it back to work. And I worked for a while through much, much effort and pain and all this stuff. But I could only, God, God is in control. I want to do that so long, and then I can't go out. Every time I try to do that, do that stuff, man, I'll get lambasted. It's like God said, me, no. You can make it if you keep doing what I'm telling you to do. I'm not doing it. If you're doing other stuff, no. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm going to be doing stuff like laying in the floor, can't, vomiting all over myself, passing out, can't get up, can't turn over, can't do nothing. Doctors are no help. Waste all your financial stuff and the natural on them and get indebted to them because I was debt free. Huh? Wait, just waste it. It's useless. Now I'm gonna stay. I don't get no money, no help, can't get no disability, nothing. Don't still yet do what God told me to do. So I, I don't know how to like they're doing these little church buildings, passing around an offering play. So if someone wants to help me, oh, I would deeply appreciate it. They want to give me information so I can receive donations, but I am not going to charge for what God has given me inside. This is out freely. This revelation, this wine, this new wine that God's bringing out the best wine for last. Huh? It's revelation that God. It's revealing of the truth, this disclosure of the truth before noon. That God loves us beyond the mere description of words. And he's not a messed up mad scientist. He's not this demonized monster. A double-minded bunch of crap. Oh, that's just sick. That's blasphemous. Stop it. I'm giving this stuff out freely. I could use some help. I don't know how to how to do this other stuff. I don't need no church building. I have a wonderful home. I'm giving it out freely. If someone would help me take uh, the gifts, that would be awesome. I'm going to love them either way. I'm going to continue to give it freely. I'm not going to be like those money changers and stuff that Jesus whipped out of the temple, out of the natural temple. <clears throat> Made a cord of the ropes. Wah, wah. Beat them out of the temple. Uh-uh. Because they were like prostituting the, the gospel. Charging them. 1995, I'll give you this. Place. No, I'll give it to you. If you can give me a, a gift or show me how to receive like have that offering plate that I could give you to just love love me back that would be awesome I would appreciate it but I'm gonna keep going all the way as long as I can as hard as I can if it requires ice packs heat massagers all I'm doing it it don't matter what any Bertha and Buford better than you. Any religious doo-doo don't know stuff outside me is telling me, looking in there like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, those are three ages in my life. And God's in there with me, trying to catch a peek of me and my buffalo briefs. What sin are you in, Job? Mm -mm. When God has tried me, I shall come forth as gold, and I'm doing what he tells me to do. You've seen the Father, you've seen me. Is that what Jesus said? That's our example. 
that's the pattern, so that's what we should be like him. In the image of God, he's the firstborn of my many brethren. That's my older brother. I'm going to do the same thing. Best that I can. I want all that you have for me, Daddy. Okay? I'm providing this, um, what I call, it's like a revival. Re means to do it again. Vive, to vive something. V-I-V-E means to bring to life or to live. See, so you're coming out of this stranger, this frozen state, coming all the way back up to this plasma state, separating out all that stuff. You're living to the fullness of God. You're coming up mid that spiraling staircase. It's renewing, being reborn. You must be born again. Not just to this water baptism. That's you dedicating yourself to God, but that's very temporary. Because how, how solid is it, man? I'm going to do that no matter what. And oh no. Pick yourself up. Go back. God, he's not hating you. God is love. He's that lightning. God is light. Huh? I love beyond the mere description of words. And he's bringing you back to that state. To where it's more than unconditional. More than unshakable. It's perfect love. Can't compound enough adjectives to describe it. It's beyond the mere description of words. That's God. He's on fire for you. That lightning bolt. God is light. What was that word in back in Genesis 1 3 for God is light? Or um, to let there be light. That light, that's lightning. I think it's O R. Or. It's plasma. He's bringing you, that's his like child, the incomplete love. He's bringing you back in a zap to a, like a little plasma balls in your thinking processes. We're talking spiritually. And these spiritual plasma balls are the same material in the image of God. They follow the lamb wherever he goes. And it's quantumly entangled. Immediately, no delay. Like Yahweh, Y H W A, it's not Jehovah, Jehovah. Put your in my time, in my sweet by and by. I'll do it to the uh uh. Right now, it's a command of God. You worship in this temple in spirit and in truth. Not just some wooden thing on a Sunday or a Wednesday, and then the rest of the time I live like a hell cat. I buy, sell, sell, whatever. I'm a used car salesman in the worst sense. I'm a trick over man. I'm just going to get ahead. <clears throat> Transitory. Temporary and satisfactory things. You want that or you want the pearls of great prices? No plasma balls. Zap! Huh? You're tightly locked to God. You're facing Him. It's like if you're, you know, looking, focusing on God. Paying attention the best you can. All oh, your mind. Emphatically in hot pursuit. Hmm? In your mind. Not looking at someone and then thinking, man, I'd sure like to be somewhere else doing something else. Don't put a wall up in your mind. You hear that? Mm -mm. You can't do that to God. If you do do that to God, you're going down, you're going to poop it, pop, pop. Hmm? You can't fool God. What kind of arrogance, what kind of Amorite is that? It's what it is, Amorite, that imaginary figure of giants in your land, huh? Oh no, that's one of them. A whole bunch of that thought process of that, oh, I am the champion. Huh? You're not speaking the love of God, even if you're speaking it with your mouth and saying, Amen, in Jesus' name. You're not living it, existing, existing, existing in the nature, character, and authority with the stamp of approval of Jesus, Jesus, I E S O U S. Yahweh is salvation right then. Right in that eye of the storm, right?
<clears throat> okay. Now, so, let's start out reading it from the King James Version. John chapter 4, verse 40. I think I read it once, but let's do it again, okay? So, when the Samaritans were come unto him, they besought him that he would tarry with them, and he abode there two days. Huh? During the first day, and two more days, that's the third day. He's resurrecting. He'll not leave you nor forsake you. Huh? God is faithful. Come on, man. All right. Now, let me get this around here. So this, uh, this kind of, I'm calling it the Water and Men Revival Course. It's free. I could definitely use some, some like an offering or something like that to help me keep producing this and keep, help me. But that's not my call. I got to do what I got to do. God will provide the way. Hmm. Not same with me. God's going to be saying, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Every step of the way, whenever God gives you, you qualify with God, he's telling you, well done, thy good and faithful servant, and you're increasing. Because he's giving the increase. You can't increase yourself one iota you step down into your own poop thinking. Your good ways and your bad ways. Good and evil. On the day that you eat from that tree, you shall surely die. You'll be separated. Please don't separate yourself from God. I was trying to look and see if, if some way I could get to where I could do a donation thing or something. Uh, but it wants to, yeah, I don't know, I, I'm not sure, I do not want to charge nobody, no, nothing, okay, but I could use some help, okay, now, let's get into this, okay, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now, the first word in that verse, they translate it as when, not so. That's the second word, okay? The first word they translate it as when comes from 5613, and it's hos, H-O-S, this word. Strong's G, 5613, hos. Hos, okay. Hos. <laughs> H-O-S, I... I Looked like host to me. I just kind of forgot that it's pronounced as host. Okay. Now, <clears throat> um, means which, how, in what manner, in that manner. Hmm. Okay. And that word comes from 3739, which is also the HOS. Let me see. Let me get it. The first word's an adverb in the etymology 3739. Well, that's this way, so it's pronounced in the Strong's open. G 3739, Hoss. That one's Hoss. The other one's Host, this one's Hoss. First one's adverb, this one's a pronoun, okay? And that's that he, she, or it. And it's saying, which one, what one, huh, what, that, no, huh, what one, God, which one you working on? And then the etymology of this one, that one, that word, it's at 3588. It's H-O. Strong's G, 3588, ha. Huh. Ha, the definite huh. article, that's like this ball. This one, my child, that one, this one right there, that little spot down inside your, this one ball you're thinking, going down, 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 all the way down. Hmm? Way down there. Now, see God's lightning bolt way down in there. God's opening up to you. I'm going to fight out for you. Agree, Anthony. With all your mind. 
And when you turn and you qualify with God, zap that little spot that he's working on, that one is turned into a plasma ball. I'm on fire for you, God. Okay? So they translate that word, when. And the second word, so, that they translate as so, comes from 3767-O-U-N, this word. Strong's G, 3767-O-U-N. <coughs> Un. Okay, I'm probably going to have to segment this here. I've got less than a minute. It means certainly, accordingly, it's com uh, com uh, confirmatory or continuative. You're green lighting God. You're continuing in God. You're qualifying with God. You're in hot pursuit, emphatically in hot pursuit of God. Hmm. I agree emphatically in hot pursuit of you, God. Yes, sir, I'm on fire for you. Yes, sir, I agree, amen. Yes, sir, I'll sign on that contract, Father, in your mind. Not going with the good and evil stuff of my own karma. No, turn from that stuff and come out of that crap. Again and again and again, emphatically. That's so. And that win. Win, please, Father, good time. Yes, sir, Father God, that one right there. Okay, I'll continue a little later with the next one. The next word comes from W E Where Come. It's 2064. Air Hamai, this word. Strong Hit like, subscribe. 